Atrocities committed by Houthi rebels have caused physical and psychological scars on people. A youth initiative in form of wall paints has started in Ma'rib as an attempt to reflect the suffering of war-affected people through fine arts. This report has more details. The war has left in its trail innumerable scourges, mines, rockets, abductions and bodily torture. No family in Ma'rib has been spared from the pain inflicted upon them by the terrorist Houthi militia. As the war continues, so does people's suffering. However, some resilient young artists have used their agony to fuel their artworks, taking to the streets to ink the city's walls with their stories. They have launched an initiative that seeks to comfort those affected by the war and to inspire those with weary souls. There is a youthful initiative that aims to raise awareness through murals painted in public spaces and depicting meaningful illustrations. In this mural, we've tried to illustrate the dangers of carrying guns on Yemeni security. This mural depicts an abductee waiting to be released from the shackles of Houthi tyranny. Another portrays a man stripped of mobility, unable to climb to higher grounds, both literally and metaphorically. Another painting represents women under Houthi rule, robbed of dignity and autonomy. This mural stands for the indiscriminate shootings carried out by the Houthi militia, heedless of traditions like weddings or funerals. Through joy and despair, the militia is relentless in its mission to strike down civilians. There are several portraits of the abducted journalist whose mission was to shed light on the injustices perpetrated by the Houthi militia. The walls are also painted in phrases that reinforce patriotism and incentivize people to stand strong. Through these murals or wall paintings, I try to address the phenomena of firing ricochet and its fatal effects on civilians. For example, during the past youth national team celebrations, 20 people were killed because of such ricochet. Further, as the rule of law is almost non-existent, I thought of a medium to educate the masses of the risk of such phenomena, especially when the number of victims due to this is increasing dramatically. Finally, I hope this initiative can voice the suffering of those affected by the war. Young artists have set out to convey valuable messages using just their paintbrushes, giving voice to the city's walls to tell stories of the horrors committed against their people.